Are you a grandparent to your children's stepchildren? Are you unsure on how all that works and just looking for some helpful tips? Well, this video might just shed some light on that. Now let's talk about that right now. So let's look at five helpful tips to being a better step grandparent. Number one, is you need to assess your position. Are there blood grandparents involved? And what's their level of involvement? Are they local? Are they interstate? Do they see their grandchildren often? Is there much interaction with them? Or perhaps there's no grandparents on the scenes for a whole array of reasons. And consult with the parents. What level of interaction do they want? And what role do they want you to play? And when it comes to the child, let them guide your involvement. You can't push yourself on the step-grandchildren. There may be a whole realm of reasons. Uh, why they may be shy, they may be hesitant to get involved with you, or perhaps they'll be clinging to you because they have no grandparents and they really want one. The main thing is to leave yourself open and let the child know that you're there and you're available to talk. Acknowledge them and welcome them into the family. Where it leads from that is between the two of you. Number two is to identify what you can offer before you make any commitment. What's your availability? What level of involvement do you want to have with this child? Have a good think about that before you start interacting with a child. Get it clear in your mind what you see your role as and be clear to the parents and the child and the grandparents, everyone else involved of what that will be, what, what you're willing to commit to, what you would like to see the relationship develop to and what you would like to see your role is. Number three is have a good think before you start. What do you want out of this relationship? Are you wanting something that's a mutual benefit for both the child and for yourself? Maybe to help your children out? Are you hoping that this is going to fill some sort of void where you didn't have any grandchildren yourself or maybe things haven't gone well with your grandchildren and your children and you're wanting sort of a makeup relationship? You want some sort of substitute relationship. And if you think about this honestly and work through this, you may find that you need to resolve other issues before you expose yourself to a new relationship with can be a vulnerable child. Number four, what is going to be your level of commitment? Again, have to think about this beforehand. And this is something that not just step-grandparents need to think about. The grandparents need to think about this as well. It needs to be made clear to the parents, children, and perhaps the blood grandparents of what your level of commitment can be. It might be as small as just accepting them into your house when they visit, or to as much as providing full-time daycare and financial responsibilities for the child. This varies from family to family, situation to situation. I'm not saying there's a right or a wrong solution, but you need to think about this to figure out what is the right solution for your family. And if you make this clear up front, this will lead to a better, stronger relationship, and it should avoid any disappointment or miscommunication later on. And this sort of clarity should really strengthen your relationship with your child and their new partner, as well as enriching your life and truly enhancing the life of the child. Number five, in my view, this is the most important step. Treat all your grandchildren the same, whether they're a blood relative or a step-grandchild. I feel this is the most important step to being a successful step-grandparent. Nothing can kill your relationship faster than you not accepting the step-grandchildren fully as you do your own children. Now, your child has made a commitment to their new partner and made a commitment to their children. And in some cases, they even adopt their partner's children. And so they've made that commitment to their children. You need to make that commitment to them as grandchildren. I've come across people that tolerate the step-grandchildren, will only go out and do things with the blood grandchildren, cause main separation, particularly in this particular situation. Those other children didn't have an active grandparent. And so there was quite envious and there's some, some rivalry between the children and some hurt that two of the children had grandparents and the other ones didn't. And as a family unit, it started to cause some rifts, uh, not only between the children, but between the, between the parent and the grandparent. And in the case I referred to, it actually split that family and the parents didn't speak to the grandparents for decades. So again, it's up to you, your situation's unique, but you should really think about that. Fairness to your child, the fairness to that grandchild. And in the end, if the child's gonna accept you, you need to look at how you can accept them. And with your full acceptance of that child, it will definitely strengthen your relationship with your child and their partner. Now, every relationship and circumstance is unique and you need to navigate that for your own. 
but I promise you, if you accept all the children as your grandchild, it's gonna enrich your life, the life of the children, and enhance the relationship that you have with your child. And I think that accepting all the children equally is a, is a true hallmark of a successful step-grandparenting relationship. Now we'll continue to dive into the roles of a step-grandparent as well as a bonus grandparent in future videos. If this content interests you and you're not yet a subscriber, I'd encourage you to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Whenever I release new content, you'll be notified, including future videos in this series of being a step-grandparent. I'd love to hear your stories of being a step-grandparent, maybe some of the strategies you put in place, some helpful hints for us. I'm new to this. I've got two step-grandchildren, and I'm trying to navigate my way through it. These things I share with you are things that I take from my own life, as well as a bit of research and just talking to other people in the situation. Being a step-grandparent is becoming more and more common. It's a role in our life that we need to think about. Please leave comments below, or you can contact me through my email, yourjourneytransitions at gmail.com, or through my social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and of course my website, yourjourneytransitions.com. So until next time, this is Rick Ward, your guide to retirement stages, wishing you an extraordinary retirement. This is not a cocoon. What comes out of a cocoon? Butterflies. Are butterflies beautiful? Yes.